After 30 years of armed conflict, Somalia is facing a new invisible enemy. The climate crisis has caused unpredictable weather patterns, making life more difficult for its nomadic societies. Extreme weather may not only upend traditional life in Somalia, but also derail economic growth in East Africa. And as world leaders meet in Glasgow for the COP26 climate summit starting on Sunday, vulnerable communities will hope to be part of this year's agenda. Mateo Huaripe reports. Somali herder Ahmed Mohamed is always looking for greener pastures. But living off the land and feeding his animals is getting harder because of global heating. We lost 50 animals. There were 70. 50 died and we were left with 20 camels. Some no longer have livestock. They lost them all. That's how it is and we are surviving. Africa only contributes 3.6% to global emissions, but it's disproportionately affected by the impact of global heating. In Somalia, more than 30 climate-related events, including droughts and floods, have hit since 1990, and other environmental threats are building across East Africa. Severe drought has displaced tens of thousands of Somalis this year alone. Millions have lost access to reliable sources of clean water. In Kenya, the World Economic Forum projects temperatures will rise by one degree Celsius in the next decade and precipitation will rise by between 7 and 10 percent. And Africa's tallest mountain, Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania, is expected to lose its ice caps as soon as next year. It may no longer have a snow season by 2040. Somalia is located in East Africa, the Horn of Africa that is known to be, in terms of global warming, 2.5 times faster than the rest of the world. This has brought extreme weather events. These extreme weather events due to global warming, climate change, are droughts, floods, um, cyclones. All these factors now are more frequent first and are worse in terms of intensity in Somalia. The African Development Bank says if temperatures continue to rise, East Africa's GDP per capita could be reduced by around 15% by 2050. The Development Finance Institution says the climate crisis is already having an impact on growth in the region, and the pandemic has only exacerbated the situation. When coronavirus came, the first consequence was the closure of the borders. And Somalia depends a lot in terms of import of goods, but also exporting livestock to the Arab countries, especially the pilgrimage of Mecca is absorbing a lot of animals from Somalia. As communities struggle to recover, herders like Muhammad hope this doesn't spell the end of their way of life. Toho Haribe, TRT World.